Hi, and welcome to another review. This video is gonna take a look at the Chinese built 2.1 plate amplifiers that are great for your home DIY build when you need a small, ready-made amplifier for your own 2.1 sound system. To help, I've put the link in the description below to where you can find and buy the plate amplifiers which are featured. So, featuring a choice of either the TPA3118 chipset, which will provide you with 60 watts to the woofer and 30 watts times two to the left and right channel speakers, or you could look at the more powerful TPA3116 chipset, which is 100 watts to the woofer and 50 watts times two to the left and right channels. These mini plate amplifiers, which have a cutout of just 105 by 95, also come with the option of Bluetooth 5 built in. Now let's take a look initially at the build quality. I have bought both the Bluetooth and the non-Bluetooth versions personally for the purpose of this test and to use in my own speaker builds. And as with all versions, they appear to be very well made for the price with an aluminium face and built in a rubber gasket. They also appear well sealed against sound and air leakage and all versions listed come with even the screws to fit them into your project. The main plate features of the non Bluetooth version have an RCA line in and a line out which could allow you to connect it to a music streamer or a TV games console etc. The left and right speaker channel inputs which will accept banana plugs, a standard power input, volume knobs for the main volume and bass, a crossover knob, an on off switch, and a further switch that will allow you to use the amp as a complete 2.1 system or the woofer alone. I have personally used this version to make my own 2.1 system in an 80 watt subwoofer build, the link is above, which when connected to a pair of additional speakers can certainly give you a great look and plenty of power for the average room. Now the Bluetooth 5 version is the same but with just an on off switch and this one I have used in one of my latest builds, the link is above, where I have soldered what would be my left and right channel speaker wires to the back of the amplifier plate. This has allowed me to incorporate the plate into a single wall speaker. And this method could also be used for a boombox or similar, something like the one on my channel that currently features the Arillic amplifier plate. So to my conclusion, what do I think about this little tiny 2.1 plate amplifier? Well, 30, 40 pounds here in the UK delivered. I think it's a great opportunity to go ahead and build your next little project. I think it gives you plenty of power for the average little speaker system that you're probably gonna want in your house. So all I can say is thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.